a very good day everybody so i've been mucking around with uh, i call it a mast tower call it what you will but with guys okay and i spent a lot of time trying to work out how much rope do i need i've written a spreadsheet i'll show it to you and you can download it for free in a minute you just paste that into your browser you end up at the dx commander download section on mega and i've put it in worksheets this one here the rest is free reign you can do what you want with it but uh, calculate guy links and you can just download it there but you may have heard of something called a three four five triangle which if if that is three and that is four that is five all right and i was very interested in number five how this formula works weird enough is and if you're not very good at math just bear with me it's called three squared plus four squared is five squared what does that mean well three squared is three threes so that's nine plus four fours are 16 16 equals five fives are 25 and you can reverse this any way you like to find any of these angles so using it, it's called pythagoras theorem all right i hope <laughs> sometimes when i'm recording i forget what things are called but anyway, it's called the Pythagoras theorem. So in other words, what they call it is x squared plus y squared equals um, z squared. Now, and if you were concentrating in the maths class at school, you'll remember that. But you can extrapolate all that out and make it a wee bit bigger. So my, my tower has four guys per section. So that's 12 guys. And I wanted to know, can I get away with 100 metres of rope? or do I need 200 meters? How much rope do I actually need? So I'll show you the spreadsheet, I'll show you where it is, and then you can download it. Just for reference, if you ever need to try and work out the length of your guys. Uh, so here it is on screen, all right? And all we do, I could protect all this sheet with clever stuff. Uh, if you overwrite it, just download it again. So the height up the mast to the, I call it the thrust bearing. It was to the connection point at the mast. So let's say that's, I don't know, 12 meters. Could be feet, right? Because just numbers, it'll still calculate the right number for you, apart from one thing you just need to be aware of. So just let's say it's 12 uh, meters to the first thrust bearing or guy point at the mast, eight meters to the next and four meters to the to the not the next the next one down i beg your pardon and then what is the distance from the mast to your guide point so let's say it was i don't know 5.5 meters for each of the sections and then how many guys have you got because sometimes you could have three guys or four guys so let's just say you had three guys there we go now if you wanted and i did i wanted to adjust how high off the ground my guy was now i'm a half a meter if you were in feet you could put and it was one and a half feet you could put 1.5 here then put inches doesn't understand inches it understands decimals over foot i'll just i'll live at one foot no I'll, uh, no sorry 0 0.5 is fine and then do you want some contingency per guy like you know that's three feet or a meter right a meter is about three foot three inches or something but I wanted about two meters contingency per, and it says the total length with contingency is 104 meters. It'll give you all the calculations. And if you're interesting, if you're interested, you could, that is the calculation there where it says 13.2. I'll just hit F2. That is the calculation that it's making. And the final calculation here is just removing this 0 0.5 uh, from it. So it's really handy for me because I wanted to, in my case, I'm definitely, I think, 13.5 there. I'm about eight and a half here. And I think I'm at the five metre point. And the distance from the guy, I'm 7.38 as it so happens. All right, I've got four guys per section. And the height off the ground is that. And it says here, if I have contingency, I'm into 170 metres. Uh, about 600 feet of rope is a lot more than I thought I needed so it's going to cost me more but anyway yesterday Wendy ordered me 
two 100 meters reel 200 100 meter reels of the dyneema six mil and the huge police have arrived so I, no excuse other than the fact it's snowing outside and um i don't really want to go squashing around uh doing that i'm also right in the middle of a dx uh, commander four square actually it's dx engineering comtech four square video so i think what i'll do is i'll release the beginning of that one to give you something to to watch a good laugh me getting it all working but i haven't cut the phasing lines i haven't put the radials down i haven't tuned the verticals so that's for another day anyway if this has been value let me know in the comments because that's good for the algorithm and other people go people like commenting to this video you might like to watch the video too all right in the meantime from guy Lentz, rope and expense of masts and towers and this whole expense of a ham radio i bid you farewell may the force be with you and enjoy your radio